What's up guys, it's Aaron from Aaron and Vera and if you are an expat or a new teacher and you've just moved to Vietnam, do not make the same mistake we made. Don't go to just any estate agent and find any apartment and sign a lease for 12 months or whatever without first looking at serviced apartments. All right, let's take a little tour of this service apartment. Let's go. Alright guys, so you've had a look at the apartment, not too bad, right? So pretty much what I want to do is just talk about why you should choose a service apartment over a regular apartment. Generally speaking, because of the room types, they tend to be a lot cheaper than regular apartments. So here, this particular room I'm paying just $450 a month, that is including uh, water and management fees. Uh, it's not including electricity, but electricity generally uh, I spend about $1 million a month and that's with the AC on um, pretty much all the time. So comparing that to my previous apartment, uh, that was about $100 more. So on top of that, I was paying maybe like $50 to $100 extra in water and management fee and electricity. So had I chosen somewhere like here to stay rather than the previous apartment, I would have saved, I don't know, maybe over a thousand dollars, maybe more. Again, in terms of like money and saving money, for service apartments, most of the service apartments that I've had a look at, they just require you to pay one month deposit and the first month um, of rent. Uh, whereas the bigger apartments, the longer term lease apartments, um, they require you to pay two months deposit, security deposit, so that's two months of rent plus the first month of rent, so that's three months of rent. That's quite a big startup cost, um, especially if you're like, you know, you're, you're an expat, you're short on money, you want to just start saving and you've got to just blow out all this huge amount of money straight away. It's not ideal. So obviously, service apartment, you're going to save a ton of money with upfront costs as well. The other big pro about service apartments is that you get a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of the contract length. So the vast majority of apartments that you find via like estate agents and stuff or on websites, uh, they want you to sign a contract for a minimum of one year. You might get lucky with six months. I've seen a few that are six months, but generally speaking, they are for a year. Whereas a service apartment, you can kind of choose. If you want to stay here for one month, that's fine. If you want to stay here for two weeks, that's fine. If you want to stay here for a year, it's up to you. Then you can negotiate a discount for longer term leases, like six months or one year. So just having that flexibility makes, makes you feel like you're not like tied down. Whereas the last apartment, for example, before uh, we had to sign a 12 month uh, contract, after about six months, we realized maybe we'd made a mistake and we were stuck there for another six months. So definitely the flexibility is something that is really, really important. One of the big, big, big benefits of staying in a serviced apartment, it's right there in the name, serviced apartment, is you get a bunch of services. Daily cleaning every single day, apart from Sunday, but generally every single day, the apartment is clean. I come home from work, I come home from studying or whatever, and the apartment's clean. That's that's just such a big headache off my mind. As well as that, you get laundry twice a week. And if you're anything like me, you absolutely hate laundry. The last thing you wanna do after a hard day's work is do laundry. And it just takes up time. Just these little basic things like cleaning and laundry, it just saves you so much time. And it's just really nice to come home to to have freshly cleaned laundry and a freshly cleaned room. So that's a huge, huge, huge plus. The other thing as well is that you get a bunch of things with the service department. So depending on which one you choose, um, but this particular one has not one, but two swimming pools, as you saw, a gym, 
a restaurant inside the building and the convenience store inside the building and 24 hour security and motorbike parking which is free for, for guests. Uh, this particular apartment, uh, so I said I was paying $450 per month minus electricity. They do have a different bunch of uh, room types available. So you have smaller rooms, which are about $300. Slightly bigger ones here with a kitchen and like a seating living space area, 450. And they've also got ones with like two floors, which is maybe more suitable for like a small family. Um, I mean, a big con, I guess I would say to service apartments is that generally speaking, they are more like hotel rooms. If you're like a bigger family, it might not be ideal for you. There's obviously less uh, choice in terms of like big rooms, but I'm sure there are some out there if you have a look. They are more suited for like singles or for couples. But for me, if you're an expat or you're an English teacher or whatever kind of work you're doing, you need somewhere short term or with the flexibility of being able to, to, to rent slightly longer term, I would definitely choose a service apartment over a regular apartment. So definitely do not make the same mistake that we made last year. Choose a service apartment, save yourself a packet of money, save yourself all the time and hassle of cleaning and laundry. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions uh, uh, you wanna ask about service apartments or just living in Vietnam in general, do feel free to ask uh, any questions in the comments section below. Uh, I've left the link to this particular building in the link below as well if you want to know more about this uh, apartment building. Other than that, um, that's pretty much it for today's video. Do follow us on Instagram. Like this video if you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button if you loved it. Uh, check out our one year anniversary highlight video here or here, wherever the link is going to be. And uh, until then, we'll see you on the next video. All right, so see you later.